Meet 24-year-old Travis. If you think that I'm an idiot now, I own a mansion, but live in a house. A king-size bed, but I sleep on the couch. I'm Mr. Brightside, glasses half full. But my tank's half empty, gasket just blew. Travis had just graduated from the University of Cincinnati with his master's degrees. They're on to Everton. Travis was just dumped by the girl he thought he was going to marry. It's a pretty good decision on her part, if I do say so myself. But here, meet heartbroke Travis. A lot of people have come and gone. A lot of people, you know, say they're going to be there, but... Yeah, he was pretty soft, but he got over it. But you know what? Travis was a man, and nobody was going to change his plans, so he proceeded to buy a house for a family anyway. I have to go look at houses because I cannot do this apartment living anymore. Friendly dogs. Yeah, I, I, uh, I yeah. saw that note where they, yeah. there's dogs. Three car garage. Yeah, it kind of had everything I was looking for. Yep. Just to make sure I have room for that uh, gym space down there. That's so, I mean, I could put a gym area down here. Yeah, it's true. You have plenty of room for that gym down there that you never use. I'm kind of empty over here. I have no furniture whatsoever. And in three years, Travis did not change those hideous curtains and bought one piece of furniture that again, he does not use. You know, all joking aside, the first time I ever walked in this house to look at it, the first thing I noticed was the kitchen. I loved it, I loved the island. I knew I would be able to just pile tons of stuff up on here to make cool videos. And that was one of the most intriguing parts, but I have not eaten yet today. It is noon right now. It's been, it's been quite a day already. So I'm going to make up something, I don't know. Should I do, do my like, typical oatmeal or should I try to make something special for you guys? Somewhat of an interesting combination here. We have egg beaters, turkey, and I put a hot dog in there. Well, it's not a hot dog, it's a turkey dog, I guess. But it's stuffed with cheddar cheese. It is so good, the macros are really good on there. Scrambled it all together. Topped it with some ketchup and some mustard. This thing is freaking delicious. Pays them less, sell their home, go rent an apartment that's shittier, and take the time that they get from having it. <laughs> Nobody's doing it. Nobody does that. That Nobody's like, Stuffy, my new shitty apartment used to have a house. So I think the biggest lesson that I learned when I bought the house is that just because you want something currently does not mean that you're going to want that same thing forever, regardless of how good of an idea it seems like or regardless of how passionate you are about it at the current moment, things are going to change. You know, you're going to evolve, you're going to grow up a little bit. And I, I learned that the hard way when I bought the home and I was like, this is my forever house. I'm going to live here until the day that I die. I'm never moving ever again. And life has just done a complete 360. It's been good. I've loved every second of it, but I don't think it's gonna involve me living in that same home until I'm in the grave, you know? Does your baby come too much for but at the time, I was like, no, I'm gonna have two and a half kids, a beautiful wife, everything's gonna be good. We're gonna have this beautiful home. And that's another thing that I learned is you can only plan so much. You can only plan so far ahead and I found for myself that once I stopped planning or tr stopped trying to plan so much, good things just kept happening but when I tried to plan I was always wrong and it usually ended up being very counterproductive so I was like oh I'm gonna have two kids here soon so I might as well just buy a big house for them to live in so I don't have to start with a starter home and then pay a realtor to sell it move into a bigger house upgrade and go through that inconvenience right? But that was not the case, and now looking back, I'm like, that doesn't even look to be the case in the next five years. But again, I could be completely wrong. Knowing myself, I might be married by tomorrow. You know, I'm just, I'm kind of all over the place. So that's one of the big takeaways as well. Now, I do want to be careful when I say don't plan. Obviously, you need to bust your ass to make sure you're put in a good position when any opportunity does come up. But in terms of saying you're going to be at this location in this many days for this long, it's just... It's honestly probably not going to be the case. I always love the quote. I don't even know who it's by. But if you want to make God laugh, tell him about your plans. Come on, man. You can't say God on the internet. And look at some of these homes, man. These are some uh, some real rich homies in this neighborhood. But let's talk about the money, man. Especially coming from an accountant. You guys know I love talking about the money. Was it a good financial decision? Maybe, I mean, if you're familiar with houses, the housing market right now, it's, it's booming, you know. My house is appreciated probably 20 to 25 grand, which feels good, but I put a lot of money into it. And even though I am a finance guy, 
a lot of people disagree with me here. When I, the first thing that I think of when I think about investments is, is this investment going to make you happy? And personally, I don't like taking care of a big old house. It's a lot of work and I value my time more than my money. So even though the monthly payment is not a big deal, right? It's just another expense that's coming out of my bank account. I get over it. But when I have to invest two to three hours in the yard or fixing something up, or if not, I'm paying a lot of money out of pocket to have someone else come and do it for me. And those are the reasons I kind of start to think maybe this wasn't the best decision for me. And you're going to get a million different answers. When I was buying a house, there was one school of thought was like, you have to buy a house. This is going to be the best investment that you ever make. And then there's the other people say uh, like a Grant Cardone that's saying, don't buy the house, lease everything or buy a condo or whatever, you know, everyone's going to have their own opinion. I think it's going to be different for everybody, but I'm thinking for myself, in my situation, it might not have been the best call. So I already know this is the internet and people are going to be in the comment section saying, Travis, you just tried to show off and now you're going broke and you're trying to backstep and little Johnny and little Nathan are in the comments just, <laughs> just going crazy, man. And if that's what you think, that is perfectly fine. If you think I'm broke, then that's okay. If you think I'm rich and wealthy, that's where I got a problem. You never want people to think that you have money, because if they do, they're going to want things from you, they're going to expect things. Nah, not a good thing. But anyway... So owning a house, not all bad. At least I'm able to come out on my nice little deck. I have my own grill, which is the first thing that I bought when I moved in. If you've ever lived in an apartment complex, you know how frustrating it is to either one, not be able to have a grill, or two, they, they have this like crappy community grill that somebody's always using, and it's it's definitely not ideal. And it always looks like the grass is greener on the other side, obviously. I'm the type of person that always wants what they can't have or wants what they don't have, and I know that. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but anytime you're in a situation, like if you have a girlfriend, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, the single life, man, I just want it so bad. And then if you're single, you're like, I could, well, I mean, some people are like, I could have a girlfriend. I'm like, eh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so I'm just going all over the place with this video, just trying to, to help you guys out. Hopefully you can learn from some of my experiences. So I'm surviving this whole low carb thing. Today I'm gonna actually go for 150 grams. That's probably the lowest I've gone in maybe ever. <laughs> I don't know. But thanks to eggs, Icon Meals, and Poverty Brownies, it really has not been that challenging. So I think tonight I actually wanna do Poverty brownie sandwich. That's definitely gonna happen again, but that's where we're gonna end the video. I don't want this to seem like I'm not grateful. I'm definitely beyond thankful for anything that I've ever been given, any opportunity. So that's not what I wanted to get out of this video, but I wanted you guys to kind of see my thought process. And especially as you start to approach some of these bigger investments, maybe look at it from multiple different angles, get more input, don't rush into a decision like I did. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, well, you can just sell it, which is true. But when you start getting into, you know, the hundreds of thousands of dollars and you start thinking of six, 7% commission to a real estate agent to sell it for you, that's, that's a good chunk of change. It's something you gotta think about it. And at this point in my life, you know, I don't know what I want to do next. I don't know if I want to own again or rent or what. You know, maybe I'll just downsize. I really don't know. And I'm at a point in my life that's it's very strange to me because I don't know where I'm going to be or what I'm going to be doing. It's it's kind of crazy, you know. It's um it's exciting, but I don't want you guys to think just because I hold this camera in front of my face that I have life figured out. I'm just like you guys. I'm, just, I'm trying to figure it out for myself. So it will be a fun adventure. That's one thing I can promise you, and I can promise you whatever I do, I will work as hard as I can. So that is where we're gonna end it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could've been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help me out a lot, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.